Well, guys, we're back here in the car, and we're heading on another adventure today. Uh, of course, we're going to be doing some really in interesting things today. I don't know. We don't know. Actually, we don't know what we're doing. But we're in Vegas, baby. You guys ready? Ready. ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> so yeah we're here at dirty dogs guys and of course this is an la themed well hot dog place but their hot dogs are nothing of the normal here and uh but we're here in vegas because they actually have a location here in vegas and um over here you can see get old Snoop Dogg up there. Well, I ordered the pastrami dog. Look at that. What do you got? The house dog. And then back to the uh, chili, chili cheese, cheese fries. fries. Yes. Of course, the Mexican Cokes. It's deep corn. In a cup. Look at these fries. Wow. <laughs> Well, these are LA street dogs. Well, the pastrami dog was $8.25. The house dog was $6.75. Dirty chili fries was $6.25. And the Mexican Cokes, two of them were $6.50. And our total was $34.13. Well, we're here at the Lexor. Well, it looks like these two guys here are in quarantine. Whoa, did you just move? I think this one just moved on us. Uh, all right. Hey, Chris, did you see it? I saw it move. Yeah, it moved. This one here. Did, did you see that? Uh -uh. Oh boy, strange things are happening here. At the Luxor. We're gonna head up to the Mandalay place and do a little, a little shopping. This here is one of the most authentic Irish pubs you can get here in Las Vegas. I believe the bar itself is actually was brought in from Ireland. And they actually got a traditional Irish breakfast in there. And they actually have a Guinness store right next door. But this is one of our favorite places here in Vegas. Yes, really cool. But then over here they have a Ron John Surf Shop. And of course, we love Ron John Surf Shop, so we're gonna head in. Of course, our friends out at Myrtle Beach, uh, they said, hey, there's a Ron John's here in Vegas. And we're like, wow, Vegas? So we decided to stop out. Well, we just left the Ron John surf shop. What'd you get, Don? Some stuff? Of course, of course, yes. And I think, yeah, Chris got some, you know what Chris got, guys. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so. We're gonna head into the Sugar Factory. There's a lot of celebrities that get their desserts here. Quite busy tonight, but this is where we're gonna have our dessert. Well, here comes my banana split. It's real long. And uh, check that out. It's got um, 
Well, it's got pineapple and looks like a milk dud or something up there. Covered in sprinkles. <laughs> wow, look at that. Is it good? This is the watermelon um, lemonade, non alcoholic drink. So it's got watermelon but you can get it with alcohol if you wanted it, right? And you got choice to get it with alcohol. Yeah. Chris, you got a. What is that? It's a candy bar milkshake. Candy? All kinds of candy bars and sprinkles and stuff. Oh, wow, that's Cook, crazy. Cookies and cream ice cream. There's a little gummy cherry in there. I ordered a banana split, which was $17. Dawn's goblet was $34. And our total was fifty-five twenty-six. Well, we are officially finished here, and this is what this place looks like here. It's got a chandeliers and what have you. But uh, really fancy, really, really fancy, what have you. Nestle uh, candy bar, I guess you'd call it. What have you? Uh, oh, they're also making cotton candy over here. I gotta see this. Oh, they're making the cotton candy. Okay. Well, we're here walking the amazing strip here in Vegas. And um, people are out having a good time, looks like. It's hot as what you could say, Hades. I would say that. 111 degrees here today. It was a hot one, a real hot one. But uh, what do you think, Don? It's hot. Yes, and he got to wear the mask. Everybody has to wear the mask. The masks. Oh wow, check that out. I think I found the skunk that's been spraying all the streets here in Vegas. He's right there, he's quite famous here. We're here at the Bellagio. A lot of people dress up tonight. It's really good to see people having a good time. There's a lot of energy in the air, isn't there? Like everybody's yes. gambling and... That's one of the things I love about this town. It comes alive at night. Yeah, and you get like, um, you know, all the noise from the slot machines. Everybody's dressed to like the nines and tens. Yeah. And then you got us with our <laughs> shorts on and our cutoff sleeves. <laughs> we don't really fit like quite here at the Bellagio, do we? Probably not. Look at this. All that hand blowing glass up there is totally amazing. And then you got, is this a Mongolian? Well, we're here at those gardens and it looks like it's gonna be like a Chinese theme. And it looks really cool, doesn't it, Don? Check this out. Okay. 
Hello Kitty over there. Oh wow. So this is actually really, really awesome. And this is actually free for you to, it doesn't cost nothing. And that's the reason why we do like Vegas is because of this here. You don't have to party or, or gamble or, or anything. You could just spend your days just roaming the strip here, checking out all these really interesting attractions. Absolutely stunning. All the flowers. There's actually some koi down there. What did you think about that? Gorgeous. Did you see Hello Kitty as she's flying a kite at the end? Wow, that's that is. Oh, it is a kite. Yeah, she's flying that's a kite. So cool. Did you? Yeah, that was awesome, wasn't it? Fun, lots of fun. Well, we're back here at Fremont. There's a fish tank here at the Golden Nugget. And it's part of their pool. And you can see, you can slide right through the center of the tank. Now with COVID, they're not gonna allow anybody to go over there and take a look at it. So, womp, womp, womp. But we think can see it from a distance. So, but now we're gonna take a look at this great big, huge gold nugget. The Hand of Faith Nugget. This magnificent gold nugget is the largest on public display in the world. It was discovered using a metal detector uh, lying six inches below the surface in a vertical position that weighs a mass of 875 troy ounces. 61 pounds, 11 ounces of gold. The man who was chosen to remain silent and anonymous, his wife and four young children were prospects being behind their modest trailer park when they made this spectacular Fine, guys, look at the size of the gold nugget. <laughs> the 
the naked guy playing the guitar back there. Chris, where did you take me? He said you wanted to see the real version. More naked people. There's some crazy things happening here in downtown Vegas. Well, good morning, everybody, and today's our last day here in Vegas. We decided to come over to Mandalay Bay to get our traditional Irish breakfast. Well, this is what we're here for, the Irish breakfast. Look at that, a traditional Irish breakfast. Absolutely love this place here. It definitely takes me back to, well, my two trips to Ireland. And almost every morning for breakfast, there's always a fireplace burning peat. But just a homely atmosphere in here. Kind of reminds you, well, technically, it's a true Irish pub right here. Well, here's their breakfast menu here. We got the all day Irish breakfast for 16. And that's what we have our eyes set on. We got some proper fry up, two eggs, Irish bangers, uh, rashers. They also have black and white pudding, grilled tomato, mushroom and toast. And um, of course, there's some other stuff in that menu. And also have some sides and, and what have you. Well, we're here, guys. This is our traditional place where we come every time we go to Vegas. And uh, of course, we get our Irish breakfast here. This is our last day in Vegas, so it's kind of a, a weird scenario where we gotta catch a flight later on. We are taking the red eye out of here. So we do have, I don't know, about eight, nine, 10 hours here in Vegas still, even though we're driving around with our luggage in the back of the car. Uh, but guys, we're gonna get a good breakfast in the day. Uh, because it's going to be a long day of travel for us. We're all day here in Vegas, and then we're going to fly back four hours. We're going to lose that time that we had. We're going we're to take off around 11 o'clock, and we're going to end up in Knoxville, Tennessee at about 6 a.m. The sun will greet us. So we're going to see the sunset, and then it's going to greet us again. So it's going to be a long day here. So, Don, what did you think about your... Guys, it's here, the traditional Irish breakfast. We've got the eggs the grilled tomatoes, you got the white pudding, black pudding, you have mushrooms, you have, well, the Irish bangers, and, well, of course, Irish bacon down there. Kind of looks like a ham to most. And, of course, sourdough toast. Now, Dawn, you got a side, a side of home fries, right? Of course, her breakfast is identical to mine, right? What do you think? <laughs> well, let's let's dig in. We got Kerrygold butter. You can get that in the states here, but um, so this brings back a lot of memories. Waking up every morning. I normally when I go to Ireland, I stay in like Irish bed and breakfast, and this is what you get every morning. The breakfast is so big. I normally just eat this. It sticks with me all day long, and then I will probably get like a, a light dinner. And that's what I lived on. Now, of course, it has the black and white pudding. Do your research. Go on Google. Ask uh, Google uh, what's white and black pudding. <laughs> uh, of course, the Irish had the traditional 
Um, well, the Irish got a traditional grilled tomato. Okay, so now the pudding, guys. Like a little sausage. It's more than that. That's rem that's why I remember it. And then you got the tomatoes. You got you got um, you got the uh, mushrooms. What are you thinking? Don got into the black pudding. What do you think about the black pudding, Don? It's quite interesting. Is it quite interesting? Looks like it's got a season. The black pudding. I'll tell you later what the black pudding is, Don. But enjoy now. Oh wow. <laughs> Is it, are you full? I'm so full. That's the thing about Irish breakfast. It's, it's huge. And they use real, real China. Real Irish, like China. You see, it's just like being there. It really is. Um, of course, their bacon um, or ham. We'll talk about this but it's not, it's, it's not normal. Uh, this is like similar to Canadian bacon. If you're, if you're uh, Canadian, this would be similar to Canadian bacon. Okay, so our two Irish breakfasts were $16. Don ordered, well, home fries, which was $2 more. I ordered an extra banger for $3. And our total became $40. Venice is actually known for their slogans. And uh, you notice the toucan. He's been in a lot of their promotions. Of course, the tur tortoise. And... So yes, we had a great breakfast in there. Of course, all the woodwork is uh, from Ireland. They actually imported like the different rooms from different pubs in Ireland. And some of the folks that worked there are from Ireland. I think they transfer them out. I don't know. But anyways, yes, and they have a really cool Guinness shop next door. So if you're looking for a little bit of Ireland here in Vegas, it's it's right here. Uh, you can get the taste, the smells, and also the merch. Come on, you got to play this fish game, right? I put $5 in. You put $5 in, you got $25. <laughs> you, you reeled it in with that reel, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> The wind and they have this really cool like carousel made out of flowers against the whole area that is really cool what do you think about that i like it all right let's go check this out Yeah, this place is really, really cool. Um, definitely high class. Uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Well, Dawn found her plants versus zombies on the last day. <laughs> We're gonna head into Batista's Italian restaurant. Clint Eastwood used to frequent Batista's. <laughs> Well, we're here at the famous Batistas. Guys, this is where all of the mob activity used to happen back in the day. Of course, there's no windows to this place, and there was a lot of places to put your, well, back to the wall. And, uh, of course, a lot of things happened here. This is where Vegas was run, 
right on these tables. They've been here for over 50 years. And so yes, we got a little table over here against the wall and making sure that nobody comes up and whacks us. We don't want to be whacked. <laughs> Here is the menus, they're actually on the wall. You get a complimentary red or white um, wine, which we do not drink. Um, you get the minestrone soup, and garlic bread, and pasta, and even a cappuccino, I guess. But anyways, um, veal parmesan, steak, ooh. And theirs are priced about 35 to 36 dollars, which is actually very good for Vegas, guys. Trust me, it's it's actually a very good price for this area. Got all these little well shot size bottles here. A whole collection of them. Oh wow. That is really, really cool. And you got wine bottles hanging from the ceiling here. That is really cool. Well there's our Italian salad here. Oh wow, it looks really good. Now the lighting is very low in here so it's gonna be hard to see mm -hmm. these foods and what they really look like but they kept it dark because you know it's hard to de determine where your target is, right? If it's dark, yeah. right, Chris? Exactly. Yeah. So we're we're gonna have some fun tonight. I'm excited. Yes, yeah, so we got some garlic bread. Ooh, you're not Italian unless you have some bread. Look at the size of that garlic bread. It's like a half a loaf of bread there. Look at that. Here's some old photos of different folks that have stopped by. There's a lot of signed celebrity photos. Well, there's the Venicini Alfredo. Wow. And look at the size of the chicken parmesan. Looks like a little bit of spinach off to the side there. This thing is piping hot. Of course, Dawn, she got the exact same thing I did. What, what do you think? It looks good. And what'd you get, Chris? Spaghetti with meat sauce. My Ooh, favorite Italian dish. <laughs> and you get what? Z Ziti with meat sauce. Oh. Last meal in Vegas. Yes. And what are you thinking so far, Dawn? I'm thinking it. <laughs> yeah. I had a I had some of my uh, chicken parmesan. Ooh boy, it's good. Yes, definitely. Ooh, that is so creamy. This is good stuff. Mm -hmm. We got a guy out in the field. He runs the West Coast. He goes by Paul Ten Hats. He'll take care of them. <laughs> One fall to the tin hat, the problem disappears. Boss, boss. Last time we got that guy involved, all kinds of bad things happened. <laughs> <laughs> he sent porta potties to all her homes. <laughs> he did. <laughs> well, they bring out a cappuccino for dessert. Actually, it's perfect just before we take our long flight <laughs> yes. across the United States there. You've been a nice little ride for us. Take care. Hasta la vista. We're going back to Knoxville. Yay, right? <laughs> ah.